The high plateau country of northeastern Arizona is mostly semi-arid land of hills, canyons, and plains. The plants and animals that live here are typical of desert-dwelling species. But if you go to the right place, you'll come to a most unusual forest. Fallen logs, to be sure, but no longer made of wood. They've turned to stone or petrified. Petrified forests have been found in California, Wyoming, and New York. But here in Arizona's Petrified Forest National Park is the world's largest collection of logs that have turned to stone. A typical specimen looks as though a longer log had been chopped into sections. A few logs are all in one piece. To understand why a forest of stone lies here in the middle of a desert, you have to go back through time to 150 million years ago. Then there were rivers and swamps in the area, much like those that are now in the southern part of the continent. Trees that were relatives of today's evergreens grew along the banks of the streams. The trees died and fell into the water. Some of the logs were carried by the river until they came to a log jam. Eventually, they sank to the bottom. For the next millions of years, the logs were buried under layers of silt at the bottom of an ancient ocean. Protected from the air, they decayed very slowly. Water that seeped into the bottom layers was rich in dissolved silica, the glass-like component of sand. As the silica crystallized out of the water, it duplicated and replaced the tissues of the wood cell by cell. Eventually, as the land rose, the sea disappeared. Erosion of the softer rocks and soil exposed the petrified wood. The various colors are due to traces of other minerals that seeped in with the silica-laden water during the petrification process. Extinct plant fossils are also in the rocks, as well as those of animals. Scientists estimate that the unusual conditions that are necessary for petrification to occur are highly unlikely. Yet here on the plains of Arizona are thousands of logs that millions of years ago were turned to stone.